Jets mania, man. What is really going on, bro? Can anybody really tell me what the hell we are witnessing as this organization comes down to being a complete dumpster fire? Can anybody explain this shit? Do we need a kindergartner teacher to come up into the classroom to teach this organization what the hell's really going on out there in life? On the football field in life? Because they have no clue. I can't understand how bad this is getting. This team is bes- this team is a complete disaster, man. The three-quarterback carousel of disaster. Zach Wilson saying he might not want to get back on the field, but can you blame him? And even if he did, it'd be the same outcome. We got to start looking at who's really to blame him for this bullshit right now. I mean, you got to look at the... Where is Joe Douglas, man? Where are they at? They got their heads in the sand. They got the earphones on, they ain't really paying attention. While Jets fans is over here like, what the hell is going on with this damn squad, bro? Zach Wilson, reluctant to come back. Because you keep playing with him and then you put him out and then you put him back in. Anybody in their right state of mind would be tired of that shit. But you're no good anyway, Zach. But you are better than Tim Boyle. And Tim Boyle is better than Simeon. Or Simeon is better than... No matter what, they are both... All three of these assholes are... All three of these assholes are below par. Below NFL standards. Nathaniel Hackett, your offense is garbage, man. And we are held hostage by Aaron Rodgers because he won't let you go. Because he made you look good. Just like Peyton Manning made Adderall Gates look good to gain a a head coach job with the Jets because the Jets like digging up trash off of other people's teams and shit. You already know how, how that goes because this organization is built on trash. The Woody Johnson, the Johnson boys are built on trash, man. They don't know how to run a football organization. They're nowhere next to a Pittsburgh. They're nowhere next to a San Francisco. They're nowhere next to even Jerry Jones and them in Dallas. They don't know how to run an organization down to play a game of football at all. It is a complete mind-boggling complication on their job, which is to get this team playing quality football. Robert Sala. You're in over your head, bro. You don't know what the hell you say on the damn podium, but the same goddamn thing. Oh, I have to go back and see the tape. Uh, That is a good question. Uh, You know, that team was a great team that we played against today. We're tired of that shit, man. Tired of it. And there's many more quotes, Jets fans. Y'all already know. It's crazy, man. I can't believe the state of this or where the state of this organization is at right now, man. This is complete embarrassment, man. Who would in their right state of mind pay for anything else this year for this damn squad that doesn't even know that they're a football team? With a waste of talent. And the innocent bystanders caught in this mess. By the name of Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall, Dalvin Cook even, Jeremy Rucker. He doesn't even, he's like, what the hell am I really playing around here? And pretty much the whole goddamn defense. They're all innocent bystanders that just want to play football, but are not being led in the right direction to do so. If anybody was in any other squad or team, any other 31st team in this league, they'd be playing one hell of a football game. This team does not know how to play football, man. And it's getting worse by the day. Worse by the week. The laughing stock of the league yet again. But this time, it's even worse, man. This shit looks like a circus. A complete dumpster fire. A complete catastrophe. 
And us Jets fans got to sit up here and look at this as we go through this season. I had an email on my, at my job today. And it said, my condolences goes out to you and your team. I said, why me, though? I'm still here breathing. But my team isn't breathing at all because they don't, they're dead when it comes to the NFL. They don't know what the NFL stands for. This should be a punishable offense by the NFL standards and they should be kicked out the goddamn league or at least suspended for a year to think about what you really do as an organization. This team never fails to, to cease, it never ceases to fail to amaze me that this team could go worse than it already is. It never ceases to amaze me to see them get worse. When you think it can't get any worse, it gets worse. And we got to sit up here and witness this shit, man. Tim Boyle type shit, 14 to 25, 148 yards, zero touchdowns, of course. One INT, they always good for that. And a measly 56.8 rating. Well, you got your other <laughs> three stooges, the other stooge. Trevor Simeon, 5 of 13, 66 yards. Can't even get to a full football field. Zero touchdowns, zero picks, and a measly 55.3 rating. You call that quality football? We got to sit up here and watch that shit. While the NFL clowns us, jokes on us, disrespects us, throws just memes of New York Jet misery at us. And this is what we have to deal with. Two of 15 to third downs. How are you two of, isn't that your job? T two of 15. The penalties were garbage. A lot of those penalties were tip for tack calls. And we all know that. I call that all ass, no breaks. Headed straight for a dead end, if you ask me. The quote that we came in with with Robert Sala. Get that shit out of here, man. Just crazy, man. This shit is a, it's becoming a, a, a damn joke. It's been a joke, but it just consistently gets worse. How can we keep enduring this nonsense when you got 31 other teams out there besides Carolina, but even Carolina will whoop on the Jets? That's how bad this team is, man. And it's all due to the fact of how badly this organization is ran, if you ask me. But on that note, man, let me know what you think in the comments below. What the hell is really going on with this organization, man? Should they just cancel them out the league? Should they be non-existent when it comes to the NFL? Holla at your boy, man.